Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? The 2010s have been an awesome time for fashion and sneaker culture. 2019 was no exception. Many iconic sneakers were released during this decade and changed the culture of fashion forever. From the Red Octobers in 2014 to the Ultra Boost in 2015 to even the Sean Weatherspoon 97s not too long ago and too many more, the list goes on and on. And I'm all for new silhouettes, different technologies and all that, but there are only a few sneakers that have stood the test of time, had little to no change to its design and a name that remains iconic in today's culture and probably forever. Definitely a pair of Jordan ones, of course the old school and the sneaker I'm talking about today, the Nike Air Force Ones. So for the video today, I'm going to be selling my only pair of forces because I'm poor, but I'll be talking about all the other models out there. So let's get started with the video and break down everything you guys need to know about the Nike Air Force Ones. How is this sneaker a classic? Well, it was released before the Jordan Ones. That's how you know. Dating all the way back to 1982, the OG Forces were the first sneakers seen on the court that used Nike's oh so famous, iconic, air technology. But I don't want to bore you guys too much with the history. It's actually pretty interesting though and that's why I'm going to leave a link down below where you guys can read an article about it because I'm sure all you guys care about is how to style this beautiful silhouette. Now before they go on your feed, you got to understand what styles and options you have available because this sneaker is really meant for everyone and works with pretty much every style in today's time. Don't worry about these guys that can take up half of your leg because you're short as hell like me. There are plenty more options you can roll with. They got the special forces which suit a more grungy military-esque aesthetic. They've got ones for the tech boys. There's even the the Bape says, which let's face it, they're pretty much Air Force Ones. They've done a ton of hot collaborations. Whatever your aesthetic and preferences, there is most certainly an option for you. But the almighty classics and most popular silhouette out there has to be the pearly triple white lows. Personally, for my aesthetic, I am going to stick to this silhouette right here and maybe the utilities or the Gore-Tex collaborations because that just suits more of my fashion sense. So to style these, all you gotta do is go to your shoe rack or if you're not Asian, it should be right next to your bed. Put them on, lace them up, and walk out the door. All right, thank you for watching the video, guys. Okay, now, for real, to style these, the main and pretty much the only thing you gotta focus on is the bottom half of your body. I can't stress this out enough. Make sure they are proportioned properly to your body because everyone's got a different build. Everyone's got a different body type. I like to think of it as throwing some wheels on your ride and think of the Air Force Ones as the iconic TE37 wheel, right? You guys probably know this iconic design. Well, you probably shouldn't throw on the 20 inch TE37 wheels on your 2000 Civic Si. And that's because the rims are gonna take up pretty much the whole silhouette of the wheel with only an inch of rubber gripping on the road. And that to me just looks really off. Just like, man, whenever I see this, I can't help but cry. And that's when you wear super skinny, tight fitting denim with these sneakers. It doesn't look great at all in my opinion. And that's because the proportions are completely off. Now, yeah, I've seen a ton of guys that pull off this sneaker with skinny denim, but those guys are a lot taller. I'm talking about people like me because I'm speaking from a guy that's not too tall. I'm only 5'7", and I'm a little bit on the skinnier side. And yes, my shoe size is a 10 and a half or 11. So yeah, you bet it's gonna look weird with my small silhouette and big ass feet. Now, like I said, if you're taller, you can style this with skinny fit denim. You can rock it just fine. But the best way to style the sneaker is with looser fitting pants. I know, man, it's gonna be a little bit hard. You might not be used to a looser fitting silhouette. And just because these are a low top sneaker, doesn't mean you treat it like one. These aren't like your white band's authentics. These sneakers are chunky, they're thick. So to make Thanos happy, you can balance the chunkiness of the sneaker in a few ways. One, wear either slim fit or then beautiful cargo pants that lay over the shoe or right above it. Two, cuff the pants to add a bit of thickness and chunkiness to the ankle area. Or three, and one of my favorite ways is to wear relaxed fit pants. Cuff it and add a pair of long crew socks. This is the most crucial thing you guys gotta have a grasp of. And after that, pretty much everything like color blocking is all up to you. Now, if you are a stockier dude, this silhouette fits your frame perfectly perfectly and just treat them like a normal pair of sneakers. So let me show you how I style these. And yeah, I don't really know how to dress. This whole fashion thing is just a do your own thing type of hobby. So if you like my style, hey, I appreciate that. And if you don't, well fuck. Luckily for me, I got these 07 LV8 forces. And what I really like about these is that the swoosh is removable. I basically get the triple white aesthetic if I want. I can replace the swoosh with different colors for color blocking, or I can roll with my typical asymmetric look just to have some fun. So let's start off with the first of two of my typical fits. I focus a lot on color blocking with this first one. The hoodie is from Essentials and it contrasts perfectly against my relaxed fit olive cargo pants. Black is obviously as dark as you can get in terms of color. So it pretty much contrasts with everything and it directly contrasts against the Air Force Ones. White is also a direct contrast to most colors and it really adds a vibrant vibe to the fit. And then like I said earlier, cuffing the pants adds a bit more to the ankle area. These pants didn't need it, but this is the perfect case to add crew socks instead of showing your main. 
ankles. So I rolled with white crew socks. Now, if I wore black ones, it would have threw off the fit because then at that point, it'd be too many breaks in color and it just wouldn't work too well. So instead with the white, I get a seamless transition from the kicks to the pants and it just makes it look like you kind of know what you're doing. But in reality, who really knows what they're doing? And then I threw on an orange beanie for a pop of color because all the colors I wore were pretty much neutrals and I just wanted one standout piece, which is the beanie, which complements the blue on my sneakers. If you guys haven't seen my color blocking video, I'll leave it in the description because orange and blue are complementary colors and they just work really well together. Now the second fit is really a vibe I've been on and that is technical wear. At least I'm trying out this aesthetic because I'm pretty new to it. Whenever you guys get started with technical wear, the main thing you gotta focus on is functionality. Now I didn't mention this earlier, but the plain triple white lows go pretty much with any aesthetic. I like to think of it like white vans, only chunkier. And that's why these are so popular. But if you want to really commit to a certain aesthetic, there's a ton of models out there like I mentioned before. So this jacket comes from Triple Fat Goose. I freaking love this piece and the functionality of this is awesome. Pockets are fleece aligned, zippers are water sealed, and the whole entire jacket is meant for harsher weather and that's what tech wear is all about function and aesthetics as well i've been needing a thick jacket and one that works with tech wear and man if you got the money i definitely recommend this brand i'm probably gonna buy another parker from them eventually but yeah with this jacket i rolled with the charcoal colorway just to switch it up from the typical all black look that you normally see with tech wear outfits don't get me wrong it always looks good but just wanted to have some fun what i also really like is there's a thumb opening on the sleeve for extra warmth and it gives this this type of ninja vibe I'm feeling, you know? And for the rest of the fit, I just wanted to stick to a monochromatic look. Again, color blocking video is linked in the description, but it's basically sticking to one color. But since there's no actual color on this outfit, you're gonna work with shades. So a simple black shirt from Essentials. I've got these nylon cargo pants from Black Taylor and black Nike crew socks to make the transition seamless from the pants to the shoe. And then a simple black cap with a gold accent. I don't know, man. This has been one of my favorite fits of all time. What do you guys think? All right, fellas, I hope this video helped you out. The Air Force Ones. Man. Anyways, if you guys made it this far, how about you guys comment, uh, how about you comment fake plants? Comment fake plant if you made it this far in the video so I know who the real MVPs are, unlike the people that just click away after I say, all right, fellas. These sneakers really aren't that hard to style. It really all comes to handling the silhouette of the actual sneaker, and the rest just comes down to color blocking, layering, whatever you like. That's all up to you, so. Go ahead and follow my Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTai. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment down below. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out, bruh. Peace.